Hey, what's up, guys? Sean here. We're going to walk down here to the lake and have a little talk. Let's get it. Well, this is not at all the video that I had planned, but sometimes things happen. I had a really cool multi-day adventure planned at a spot that I found when I did that uh, hiking in Osceola trip. But unfortunately, Sarah got sick, so I stayed home a couple days to take care of her, and then I got sick. But that brings us to today's video, so let's go over here, sit down, and talk about it. Okay. So, I had a couple day adventure planned. Sarah got sick, I got sick. Not a huge deal, but it happens. But today I want to talk to you about getting sick while you're at camp and knowing when to say when and maybe knowing when to just call the trip all together and not go for your safety. Talking about getting sick in camp. Now, I carry a first aid kit with me all the time when I'm in camp. And I've always got my sinus medicine with me, but I carry stuff like Imodium for my stomach, um, gas pills for my stomach, and I also carry things like Tylenol, fever reducers, that kind of thing. One of the worst things that could happen to me in camp would be to get a bad fever. Um, fevers really affect me, and it just draws it out of me. I know a lot of you are the same way. So I carry, you know things like that, medicines. I have really bad sinuses, so I carry the sinus medicines with me, and uh, I just have an assortment of medicines. And I think that, you know, you should always have in your first aid kit things for, you know, cuts, abrasions, um, ointments, things like that. But I don't think you should overlook, you know, minor sicknesses, a cold popping up on you while you're at camp, um, things like that. And I think a lot of times that kind of stuff does get overlooked. Um, just, uh, like I said, a headache, a really bad headache could put you down for the count, you know. And so I keep, you know, Tylenol. I keep um, Aleve in there. Aleve really seems to help my back. And uh, so I keep Aleve in my pack. Um, I just keep an assortment of medicines in there for you know, typical colds, sinus infections, fevers, things like that that could pop up. And uh, I think that that's something that's very important and that you should make an effort to um, keep things like that in your first aid kit. But having said that, I think that you should go ahead and be prepared before you leave to say no when you feel like you are getting sick. So, I had this trip planned. Sarah had started to get on the mend. She was starting to feel better. So, I said, okay, I'll just scrap the multi-night trip and just go for a solo overnighter. So, I packed everything up, threw it in the Jeep, and I was just not feeling good. I was just slowly going downhill. I could feel it, and um, I had everything packed up. I was ready to go. Literally, at the very last second, I pulled the plug and said, no, I don't feel good. Uh, I'm just going to stay here and relax and um, do something different. So I laid down on the couch, and within two hours, I was shivering and had a uh, fever and just felt horrible. That would have been a bad deal had I gone ahead and gone on my trip and hiked out to the spot that I was going to go to. And I uh, got all set up and then ended up with a high fever out there. And I listened to my body. 
my body was saying, no, don't do this, it's a bad idea. And I listened to my body, and that's something that you guys need to be in tune with. When your body is telling you no, listen to that. Bad things can be coming. You know, we all have a tendency to want to tough things out. Just be the tough guy. I'm going to tough this out. Just going to keep going. I'm not going to let this hold me back. But that can really put you in a bad situation if you're not careful. And, you know, but sometimes you get to camp. Sometimes you're feeling fine. You get all the way to camp, and then you get sick. And that can be a bad deal, too. So every time I'm going to camp, whether it's, you know, in the Ocala National Forest or if I'm going to Osceola, no matter where I'm going, I always leave my wife a pen on Google Maps of where I will be just in case something happens. If she has to come find me or if she has to send somebody to come get me, um, she has a pen of where I'm going. And if I decide at the last minute to change where I'm going, I send her a pin to that and let her know. I never just take off and go somewhere that she doesn't know where I'm going to be. Just in case there's an emergency or for some reason something happens to me and I don't show up back home, she knows where to send them to come look for me. Now something you can do to uh, kind of help protect yourself is to get like an in reach or something like that and that helps you out in case for whatever reason you get somewhere like Osceola that doesn't have cell signal and uh, those things are great to have it would really be nice to have one but I don't have one of those um, they're pretty expensive and I've just never pulled the trigger on one of those but that's something that you should really look into when you're Going out on farther trips, longer trips, and things like that, it's definitely a good idea to have something like that. Um, and I may invest in something like that in the future. But all in all, if you prepare yourself with medicines and listen to your body beforehand um, and go ahead and let your uh, wife, your husband, your loved ones know where you're going to be, where you're supposed to be, um, that's a... a really good step towards uh, keeping yourself safe out there. So I just wanted to talk to you guys about this and um, tell you a little bit about what's going on with me right now, why this week isn't an adventure video, and I apologize uh, for that, but that's just the case. I'm sure you can hear it in my voice. I sound like a frog right now, um, but I'm definitely on the mend. I'm doing a lot better. Sarah's doing better. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. I know it's not a typical everyday um, adventure video but if you like the video please give it a thumbs up share this with your friends I appreciate everyone who's supporting the channel um, congratulations to everybody who won the uh, thousand subs giveaway in last week's live stream and um, I just really appreciate all your guys support I really do so thanks for watching this week's video I'll see you next time